Assalamualaikum and hi pigs. My name is Aisha binti Asha and now you're about to listen a true story that happened to me giving me a whole new experience. Well, the story that I'm going to share with you guys is my 5 minute sleep paralyzed experience. I believe some of you guys might experience sleep paralyzed, right? And maybe some of you guys never experience it. So what actually happened to me during my 5 minute sleep paralyzed? So this is where the story starts. One day around 1:30 p.m., I was home alone because my whole family had gone out for lunch. I decided not to join them because I was super exhausted that day and I just want to chill and rest at home instead. As mentioned, it was 1:30 p.m., which is Zoho prayer time. Due to my extreme exhaustion, I decided to take a 30-minute nap before reciting my prayer and set my alarm on my phone and immediately lay down on a couch. Referring to Mahim Farooq and Fatima Anjum's research on sleep paralysis, they mentioned that it occurs when patient lies awake without the ability to use any part of their body, and they also may experience visual hallucination. Well, in the first minute, my body started to feel extremely heavy. I tried many times to move my body but failed. The only body part that I can move is my eyes. Yes, true. It's my eyes. Only my eyes. Well, I couldn't agree more because based on their research, surprisingly, I felt exactly the same as described by both authors. And what amazed me more is that my eyes suddenly seems to see in 360 degrees. Can you believe it? 360 degrees. Though it may sound peculiar, but it's indeed a reality guys i believe that this phenomenon falls under the category of hallucination i might have been hallucination at that time to free myself from sleep paralysis i resolved to recite ayatul kursi repeatedly until i broke free according to islamic belief sleep paralysis is when the supernatural beings immobilize the body well after several attempts to recite the ayatul kursi I managed to catch my breath momentarily and turn my head a glance at the couch behind me. At that time I don't know how but somehow I could turn my head despite the paralysis. And you're not going to believe me what I saw. And what I saw there was a woman with long hair covering the face staring directly at me. Wow. It was a surreal experience and I felt very scared at that time because it's so scary that then it felt very close to me after witnessing her I struggled to like recite my ayatul kursi again and again until I completed the recitation and finally I complete the recitation as soon as I finish I snap out of the sleep paralysis and gasping for air and after the incident I straight away checking my phone and I realized the entire ordeal lasted only for 5 minutes. The whole incident I felt like it's like 2 hours because maybe I was struggling to woke up from the sleep paralysis. So, from this incident, uh, it taught me that the importance of not delaying prayers as supernatural occurrences may be a trap. to such instance so this is all from me thank you for watching <laughs>